Hi, and welcome to Window Cleaning Dude. In this episode, we're going to be talking about construction, uh, window cleaning, and construction cleanup. Uh, being new to window cleaning, you might not know much about construction cleanup yet. I know I didn't do construction cleanup for, I think, a couple of years after I had gotten into the business. Uh, but construction cleanup on a, on a window cleaning job is something that you can be doing for new homes that are being built. Uh, home, home builders uh, always need window cleaners to come and clean up the windows when they're done uh, building the home. So today we're going to talk more about that and what you need to know about construction cleanup. So just starting off uh, with window cleaning, with your pricing when it comes to construction cleanup of windows. I always charge more for that because there's just so much more involved. So typically uh, my windows, like I said, if you've watched my pricing video, is that it's $99 for the first 10, $179 uh, for the first 20, and then $8 a piece after that. So with construction uh, cleanup, you're probably going to want to charge anywhere from 2 to $8 more per window. It just really depends on how bad the windows are. Um, so you're probably going to want to go and actually take a look at the windows. I wouldn't just quote that over the phone. I would go and look at that directly and then kind of make your determination as to what that's going to be. If they do want to quote right over the phone right then and there, then, you know, I would, I would just automatically tack on um, probably $4 and let them know it might be a little more depending on how bad the windows are. And the reason why you want to do that is because with construction cleanup, there's a lot more liability there. Um, you're going to need a scratch waiver as I talked about in my scratch waiver video. And then of course, there's just gonna be a lot more debris on the glass. And so with all that liability and all the extra debris, it's gonna take more time and there's more risk involved. Also, tracks are probably gonna be really dirty. So you're probably gonna to have to brush and vacuum those. So you're gonna to wanna to include that price also extra, or if they're not willing to go with that, they need to include that in your window price, uh, which you might wanna just do. You might wanna just do it that way. It might be easier for them. All I can say is that it's harder but it's also easier. So the easy side about doing construction window cleanup is that uh, there's not a homeowner typically. Uh, there's no furniture in the house. There is not landscaping typically up against the glass like bushes that have grown, that have overgrown. Now they're brushing up against the windows. That's usually not the case. And then there's usually no pets to deal with or dog poop. Usually no carpet inside, just depends. Sometimes it's carpeted, but a lot of times a new home won't be carpeted yet when they call you to come do the windows which means you can be a lot more loose in terms of, of how you're cleaning. You don't have to worry so much about doing some dripping. Um, if they're going to be laying carpet down and you just have like a few drips, no one's going to care about that because you're going to notice there's construction stuff all over the floor. In terms of that, that's really nice because you can actually clean pretty fast. You know, you're not, you're not, you don't have the stress of a customer looking over your shoulder. You don't have to worry so much about the dripping. There's not all the stuff in the way. So I always love that aspect about doing construction cleanup. I just feel like I'm another one of the guys here on the job all these other construction people and I'm just doing my thing, right? So that's what's nice about uh, construction cleanup. Now, if you are doing construction cleanup, you definitely wanna have liability insurance. This is not something you want to do without that. And once again, you also wanna have the scratch waiver. Uh, and chances are, if it's a good home builder, they're not gonna hire you if you don't have liability insurance. Some might be willing to, to do that. But for your own protection, I would recommend you have liability insurance here because you know these people are trying to sell these homes Typically, they're not going to want to have a setback and they will definitely want you to pay for that. If, if you ruin something, you're going to be paying for that right away. So prepare yourself for that. And then also with the scratch waiver, like I mentioned in my other video, make sure they do sign a scratch waiver or don't do the job. And then going into the whole process of doing the construction cleanup, once again, this is where processes are going to come into play. You want to definitely have your game plan uh, already from the get-go and have your process that you're going to do down. So. If I was going to do construction window cleanup, I would already be thinking that I'm going to be using my white scrubbing pad and my scraper on every single pane of glass just so that I can speed up my time. I don't have to sit there and nitpick anything and I would know that the windows are going to be clean to the, the builder's uh, satisfaction. If I'm using my white pad and I'm scraping with my blade and then washing the window and squeegeeing, I'm typically not even going to do a spot check on that. Now, I don't recommend that, but that's just what I do it's because I've been cleaning for so long that I know that there's usually not going to be anything to look for so then I can cut that out of the equation when I'm trying to speed up my time. Definitely go and do construction cleanup if you have liability insurance and you and you can get that scratch waiver and they're good with your price. It's good money and you never know the home builder might have you do multiple homes if they're doing a whole subdivision you might end up doing all that. 
So that would be awesome. Now, the only downside of that is that, well, then once those are done, they're not really going to be a repeat customer, but you might be able to slip your card into one of the drawers in the kitchen or something for whatever homeowner ends up buying the house. Uh, your card can be there and maybe they'll call you and they, they can become your first repeat customer from that home. If the home builder likes you, then they might keep using you in the future. So in a way, you kind of have a repeat customer there. Uh, the other, other thing I think I would say with this video, aside from construction cleanup, is if you can get on board with like a janitorial company that does like repos and things like that, um, I got on with a company that does uh, cleanup for repossession, uh, repossessed homes, and it's kind of like construction cleanup in a way, but not really. It's you know they go in, they refurbish the home, they repair it, they. Uh, redo the carpet and the paint and everything else and so they would they uh, would keep calling me back and so I kind of I got a lot of continual work working with a business like that so that's another thing to be thinking about and once again you're going to want to do scratch waivers and have liability insurance for that so that's pretty much it in this video if you enjoyed this video please give me the thumbs up and uh, don't forget to subscribe to this uh, window cleaning community here on YouTube and to show YouTube that you appreciate the videos that I'm putting out for you. Also, hit the notification bell for upcoming videos, and don't forget to comment down below on anything that you'd be interested in learning more about. And don't forget to go to windowcleandude.com where you can learn everything for free that I have to offer in terms of how to start your business, and everything from beginning to end, of everything you need to know about window cleaning, how to do window cleaning, how to use the tools, where to find the tools, what I recommend that you buy just starting out, a uh, step-by-step guide on, on my processes, and everything else. It's all there at windowcleandude.com. Thank you for joining me. I will see you in the next episode.